This morning it's a jacket kind of morning. A few extra minutes for fog as well. Just a reminder to the kids standing at the bus stop, especially if there's fog around them, stay up in the grass. And of course, make sure they're layered up before they go stand out there at that bus stop waiting for it to roll up as we start in the low 40s in the valley and more upper 30s in our higher elevations. That's why there's patchy frost in our higher elevations this morning. 734 is your sunrise to be exact on this Wednesday. We'll then top out to around 73 in between. Notice it does get better. Late morning to midday starts feeling a lot more comfortable. 65 for you at noon. That cool breeze out of the northeast continues today. But the sunshine is what helps us recover from basically more than 10 degrees below average this morning to just a couple of degrees below average this afternoon. So sunshine really is more like a, a recovery effort here from a very cold morning in the forecast where you live. We also share more of those 70s uh, the last couple of days. It's mostly 60s, some low 70s. Nope, we share better today. We're going to range from low to mid 70s. 75, your high today in Loudoun to 74 Kingston and Oak Ridge, Knoxville to Maryville, 73. Forecast where you live, 73 Rockwood to 71 in Jamestown and Crossville. Hitting a couple of these slopes here with those upper 60s. That's why I highlighted it here so you could better see some spots still in the upper 60s in our more uh, mountainous spots as well as our sheltered spots like Harlan for example 69 then 70 Jellico to 71 Taswell Morristown your high today is 72 looking at 71 Rogersville and 73 in Pigeon Forge now tomorrow we'll have just a couple of clouds passing by these are a few thin high clouds this is actually coming in with some little extra warmth so despite Another chilly morning tomorrow morning. We've got a nice day, a little bit more warmth. So while today we're just below average, tomorrow we're just above it. So kind of flip that switch, get to the other side. Tomorrow morning, 45. Again, an impressive climb from a cold morning. It'll be 67 at noon tomorrow. Your high will be 78. There we go, just above average. That gives us some more warmth for your afternoon in case you're trying to pick a day to get outside. You might want to pick your Thursday. And then on Friday, Still tracking that weak cold front, but close in you can see what I'm talking about here with scattered clouds. There's a couple of little sprinkles and light showers popping up in the afternoon to evening and then they dry out. So that's the actual front passage. Those spotty light showers. While most of us don't even see the effects of that front, you feel it. We'll have some more winds even kicking up. I think Saturday used to be breezy gusts around 20 miles per hour, making that high of 66 feel even colder. So that's where we feel the effects of the front. But next week, we're also looking at a good warming trend. We go from 60s to 80 by the middle of next week.